Hi, my name is Tara Hatfield. I'm one of the physical therapists at Chesapeake Bay Aquatic and Physical Therapy's buoy location. And today I'm going to teach you some proper squatting techniques. All right, so the first thing I wanted to tell you today is some proper mechanics with squatting. So I'm going to show you what a good squat looks like and what a poor squat looks like to correct your body mechanics. That way we don't have any abnormal stresses on any of our joints so we don't get injured. So I'm going to be talking a lot about alignment, um, particularly that the hips remain in line with the knees, which um, stay in line with the toes as well. So I'm going to show you from a side view, that way you can see what looks good. So when you go to squat, I always want you to make sure you tighten your tummy, your butt, and I want you to drop your butt backwards, just like you're going to sit down in a chair. And as you can see, my knees do not come past my toes. That's when most people get into problems. So what you can do is practice squatting like you're sitting down in a chair, little pause, and back up. Now some people like to use a ball to help them squat, um, particularly against a wall will make, create less stress on the knees, and the ball just allows for less friction so that you slide easily. So if you're having the issue where your knees keep coming past your toes, I recommend trying it against the wall and even with a ball behind your back. So what you do here is walk your feet out in front of you so that way your knees will not go past your toes. And then leaning back into the ball, holding your tummy still nice and tight, you want to squat down. And as you can see, because I'm against the wall, it's not allowing my knees to go past my toes so that keeps proper form to prevent any injuries. Little pause so that way you get your quads and hamstrings firing, squeeze your glutes on the way up, and then back down. And that's the proper way to squat. And that's your tip of the week.